Hey, Yasmini. I just called to see how you were doing. Good. Where are you at? You just got to the hotel? Good. Feeling okay? Cool. Hey, I know our father's curse has already put us through so much, but I really need to tell you something. Something terrible happened when you were away. Well, as you know, Eteocles was supposed to take the throne, but Polynices wasn't on board with that, and Polynices challenged him to war. There was a battle. I'm not joking, I swear. This is serious. There was a battle, like so much bloodshed, and I wish this wasn't true, but our brothers are dead. They killed each other. I'm so sorry. Yes, Uncle Creon's the king now, though I don't see why one of us can't take the throne. Is it because we're girls, or is it because we're too young? I know, I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Anyway, Creon's the king now, and he's going to bury Eteocles, but not Polynices. He won't do it. Because the old man doesn't understand that you can't just leave bodies out in the street. I'm mad. He, like, called him a traitor who doesn't deserve to be buried right. I mean, really, dude? You're just going to do that to him? He's still your nephew and our brother. He should be buried too. But no, stupid old Creon had to make it illegal. Well, he is stupid as meanie. Hey, don't tell anyone, but I'm going to bury him. Leaving him out like that instead of laying him to rest is just wrong. You want to help me? We'll have to wear masks outside, but we can do it. Yes, we can. They don't have to know it was us. You won't? Why not? Screw the law, Ismini. Are you really going to let our poor brother be plagued with this injustice? Yes, I know. That's touching, Ismini. But I have to do this. For him. Oh, I see. You're too afraid. I know we're teenage girls, but why should that matter? Ismini, I can't believe you. I know it's still hard for women in Thebes, sister, but we can't let the constraints of society define us. Is it okay for men to catcall you in the street? Is it okay for them to shut you out of serious discussions or take credit for your ideas? Are they allowed to claim that your ideas just don't exist? Are they allowed to just forbid you from burying your beloved brother, even if he made bad choices? Well, fine. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you're scared of our stupid uncle, because I'm not. I'm burying our brother, with or without your help. Goodbye. Greetings, good people of Thebes. And thank you all for coming to the Zoom call. Even though it was technically in order, as you know, I am king now. But first, people ask me all the time, Creon, why are you always holding a crayon? Let it be known that I, Creon, invented the crayon, and I alone can improve the crayon. So when you think crayon, think Creon. Now to business. I must make an announcement. Both princes of Thebes have perished. A grave loss for our family and for Thebes. I hereby decree that my dear nephew, Ateocles, for his loyalty and patriotism, and because he was rightful heir to the throne, the throne that I myself now humbly occupy, will be given a grand funeral and buried with military honors. As for that wretched creature, Polynices, he will not be treated the same as his brother. For his treason, for his filthy lies, and for embracing the false
papyrus media. He will not be buried at all. His body will be left where it is to rot, to be bird food, whatever happens, because you know bad things happen to bad people. Now listen carefully. I forbid anyone to marry him. It is against the law and anyone who disobeys the law and therefore me because I am the law will be charged with treason and sentenced to death. No exceptions. No insy outies. No tricks. No tricksy dirty papyrus media stuff. No writs. I am the law. It stops with me. In general, I would like to remind everyone not to cross me, for I am Creon, inventor of the crayon, improver of the crayon, and king of Thebes, and the law, and I am the final word. That is all. You may exit the meeting. Have a wonderful day. Let's make Thebes great again. King Creon, I've just received an email from one of the guards. He brings terrible news that you should probably know. Um, please don't smash my phone. Oh, bad news? I don't have time for bad news. What bad news? Bad news, well, what is it? Someone buried Prince Polynices. What? Show me the email. Is that email from the fake papyrus media? Is that a real email? I want to see the email. Will you show me the email? So it's true then, and they don't know who did it? Please don't smash my phone, or the guard for that matter. He just found what he found. If he values his life, his sad, pathetic life, he'll find more than just a buried body. Tell him that his king commands that he unbury the body at once and find a culprit who committed this act, this unpatriotic act. Yes, sir. And take that ridiculous mask off. The virus doesn't exist. It's a hoax. But you held a citywide meeting, sir. Only because I was under pressure from the Oracle of Apollo, who is a very, very nasty oracle. Never liked me. He's always had a witch hunt for me. Don't like him. Nasty oracle. But you got to do what you're told to do by the oracle. So anyway, now do as you're told. Yes, sir. I will find that little miscreant and crush him. Mark my words. I do not doubt your ability, sir. Who would disobey you? But who could this little miscreant, as you say, possibly be? Oh, Polynices, I'm so sorry. They've dishonored you again. That's like so not cool, man. But it's okay. I'm here. I'm here to bury you again. Antigone's here here to bury you again as any good sister would. Rest in peace, brother. Princess Antigone, you're under arrest. How dare you follow me here? Can't you see I'm in mourning? You will come with me at once. Your uncle will be most displeased, young lady. No, I'm not going with you. Antigone, it was you. Tell me this is not true. Gods, Uncle Creon, what am I going to lie to you about? Yes, I buried Polynices. He's my brother, so I buried him. That's the truth. I'm not joking. Happy? No, I am not happy. You broke the law, you little miscreant. My law. Your actions are punishable by death. Why did you do it anyway? I know Polynices made a bad choice by starting a war and spreading Corona. Enough with Corona. It's not real. It's an invention of the fake papyrus media. Evil messengers always talking about Corona. It's not real. Stop it. And caused so much bloodshed and death. But he's still my brother and I loved him. I believe that all human beings have the right to be laid to rest, to go to the underworld properly, 
What's wrong with that? I believe it's like the will of the gods, you know? Aren't you loyal? Antigone, don't make this harder than it really is. You screwed up. Young lady, you screwed up. Your cursed father, and I'm putting curse in capitalist C-U-R-S-E-D. Yes, your cursed father, he did one heck of a job of raising you. You broke the law. Your law is stupid. Buried a traitor. He's my brother. My brother, not yours. <sighs> Wore yoga pants in public. They're a comfortable garment, and they do not divide my dignity. And spread... The wretched hoax about a disease that my enemies, especially the fake papyrus media, are using to take control of deeps. COVID-19 is real, Uncle. Do you have any idea how many people died of it in the battle between Ateocles and Polynices? No one is using it against you. You're just a paranoid old creep. That's enough out of you, young lady. You're grounded for life, which won't be much longer because you're going to be executed for being a rebellious, disrespectful, evil little girl. And you will have plenty of time in your cell. I might suggest that you read my book, The Invention of the Crayon by Creon. It's a long book while you're waiting your execution. But remember this, above all else, you are a criminal against Thebes. Make Thebes great again. Go ahead and do that. I don't care. I'm not afraid of death, Uncle. I only live to speak up for what is right. Everyone has the right to a proper burial. Women are just as smart and capable as men and should not be oppressed, shut down, catcalled, or put in a box by stuffy old cranks like you. The coronavirus is a real thing, and its reign of terror is spreading all around Thebes and will continue to do so if you don't do something about it. That is the truth, and I stand by it. Now do what you will now that I've said my piece. You've disgraced me more than I could ever disgrace you, uncle. Ah, uh, you teenagers. You upstarts should all be tossed into Hades, all of you. Sir, I know you're upset, but are you sure you want to execute her? She is, after all, your niece, and you can't discredit how much she cares for her family. Besides, poor Zmini won't be able to live without her sister. And what about poor Haman? What? Your son, isn't he engaged to Antigone? Are you sure you want to destroy your only son's marriage to the woman of his dreams? Don't even go there. He's just going to have to deal with it. I'd rather him be a single forever than marry that ungrateful wretch my sister had with her son. But he's in love with her. Shut up. Seriously. You have some nerve. Uh, just tell the guards to make sure Antigone is locked up tight. She's going to have lots of time in her cell reading The Invention of the Crayon by Crayon. Okay? It's been a long day. I just want to sit here and relax on this couch of Corinthian leather. The kind of leather that I myself invented. The Corinthians didn't invent it. I did just as I did the crayon. Anyway, it's a long day. Leave me alone. So, young Haman didn't take it well? I'm probably dead to him by now. And that's such a shame. I mean, when you think about it, such a great inventor of the crayon, author, also invented Corinthian leather. But I'm probably dead to him right now. Nothing, zero, zip, nada, gone, vanished. So sad. 
Are you positively sure you have to do away with her yourself, sir? Is there anything else you can do to soften the blow? Does she truly have to die? Just think. That's all I'm saying. I've got it. We'll lock her in a stone vault with this book, The Invention of the Crayon by Crayon. She'll be there the rest of time. She can read the book over and over. It's the only book she'll ever have, even though I've written other great books. And I'll also give her a crayon if she wants to draw some pictures. If she lives or dies, we will have nothing to do with it, especially not me. Especially not me. And her fate will be in the hands of the gods. That's gods with a small g, by the way. Remember, I'm the king with a capital K. But the hands of the gods she loves so much, and no one can blame me directly. It's off the record. Nobody can blame me if the worst happens. Very well, sir, if you're sure. Well, here I am. It is almost time for me to leave this world behind and be entombed within rock for the rest of my life. The curse of Oedipus, my father's curse, continues to plague our family and tear it apart. His death cannot stop his incest from ruining my marriage. My efforts to make things right were scorned and hated, and now I am here, a bride sentenced to a cold, gray loneliness. Was this my goal? No, it wasn't. Am I angry, defeated, full of hate? No, I am proud. I am proud of the strong woman I've grown to be in my short time on this earth, and may the gods know this. I am not afraid of death. If it is my time, as young as I am, I will greet death bravely and kindly when he comes to take me to the last place we go, and I will go with him. In fact, I thank him for allowing me to see my parents and my poor sweet brother Polynices again. If this is the only way for us to reunite, then so be it. I will die knowing that I did the right thing. No one can take my morals or my heart away from me. For that, I am happy. Cursed uncle, may you pay for your crime, because you, Creon, are the guilty one. I hope that I am the last daughter in this family to suffer this way, and that you will remember me and my fate. Remember what I did why I did it, and what this means for Thebes, because, my friends, it is time for me to go. And so, goodbye. Tiresias says that his news concerns my fate. He says, you have brought trouble to Thebes. The heavens are unhappy. Are you sure you don't want to use this? Okay. The problem stems from your refusal to bury your nephew. The virus is not the only thing hurting the city. Corruption spreads ever faster. Fake news. The land is still cursed. What? Shouldn't this old curse be over by now? You lie, just like the fake papyrus media. He says, no, Creon, things are worse than ever. Oh, dear. What should I do then? <sighs> what? Bury Polynesis and let Antigone go? Now before it's too late? No, I refuse, Tiresias. I am offended at your so-called advice. Maybe you would do better to learn how to use a crayon, just like my assistant here. You are a liar and a cheat. You sold out. Your prophecies aren't worth the crap, you old man. I am the king, and I make the rules. Sick in the head? I am not sick in the head. I will never give in, Tiresias, if that is your real name. And you have wasted my time. Goodbye. 
the nerve of him, the nerve of everybody. Sir, if I may, I, I can't help but believe him. I'm very troubled by his words. That wouldn't have happened if you used a crayon. You really should do as he says. I, something bad will likely happen if we don't make amends for what you did. I know it doesn't seem it to you now, but how much are you willing to risk, Creon? Hubris is never the solution. It, it only makes things worse. You don't argue with destiny. Besides, the people of Thebes are already protesting. It's only going to get more chaotic from here. I know. I'm uncomfortable too. First of all, I don't have my emotional support crayon. Thank you very much. Now I feel a little better. Just a little bit though. Just a little. It's just so hard for me, Miss Caragos. As my longtime secretary advisor, you wouldn't lead me astray, would you? Never, sir. You're sure then? I should bury Polynesius, free Antigone, and apologize to both her and my son? Yes, sir. I'm very sure about that. And you must do so as quickly as possible. All right. I'll do it. Let's go. Maybe I can still make things right between myself and my family. I guess that's the most important thing of all. Except perhaps my invention of the crayon. Antigone, my love, no! I hate you! Haman, my son! Good people of Thebes, thank you all for coming to this meeting. I'm here on behalf of King Creon, who is still grieving over recent tragic events. He will address these himself when he is ready, but until then, it is my duty to explain to you what has happened. The king tried to make up for what he did. He went to the stone vault to free the Princess Antigone, only to find that she had hung herself. His heartbroken son, Haman, to whom Antigone was engaged to be married, was there in the vault, crying over her dead body. He killed himself shortly after yelling hateful curses at his father. In response to the death of her son, Queen Eurydice took her own life by stabbing herself in the chest, leaving the king alone and emotionally broken. As if the blood of the first family wasn't enough, thousands have died from war and from the virus, which continues to spread throughout Thebes. But under new rule from the king, extra precautions will be made to protect the people of Thebes in tune with the last wishes of Princess Antigone. The king would like me to tell you that as long as we learn from our mistakes and stand strong together, the curse will be lifted completely from Thebes, and the city will heal someday. However, we must remember these grave losses and support one another in the best ways that we can through the aftermath of these horrific happenings, all while standing six feet apart. That is all. Thank you, be safe, and good night.